Hi, beautiful. I feel like I'm back in school. I've been studying rice water all damn day long. I've looked up everything, I've researched everything, so hopefully I bring you the most accurate information possible today. Rice water has become such a huge thing lately. It is everywhere, and I wanna get to the bottom of it. Why are people obsessed with it, and is it really growing your hair faster, longer, healthier, and stronger? And should you be using rice water on your hair to make it grow? Rice water seems to be that the Yao women in China use this technique to grow their hair to extremely long length. They're actually known to have the longest hair in the world. So today we're gonna have some fun with rice. I'm gonna show you how to make this concoction and put it on your hair and show you what happens and how it works and what's the science behind it, if any. You guys know I always tell you the truth about these things. Do I really like them or do I really not? I'm not scared to be like, oh, this is dumb. Even if everybody loves it. I'm excited to fuck around with some rice. Let's do it. Lesson one, what is this shit and why is it good for your hair? So rice, it's actually quite a good thing for you. I, I mean, I eat a lot of rice. However, I've never put it on my hair and it seems pretty interesting. It's filled with amino acids, vitamins B and E, and also minerals and antioxidants. You're getting a moment of a lot of things going on this hair. And a lot of those things are included in many products you use in your hair today. So that's great. I mean, I love a natural way of getting things that have been produced in a, the hair care market. Uh, so I think this is cool. Sounds great so far. Everything I've been hearing about the ingredients sound legit. So advocates who use rice water a lot believes that it detangles your hair quite nicely. It also can make your hair very smooth and silky and soft. As you can see in these Yao women, they have very shiny, beautiful black hair. And that's how they claim they keep it that way with this rice water concoction. It also makes hair very, very strong. You can pull it and pull it every which way and it won't snap. It'll be beautiful. That's good for people with any kind of damage in their hair. Hair, right? So seems legit. It also stimulates new hair growth and makes your hair grow faster. Those were my findings. And I don't know, sometimes I don't know if I believe that. That seems like a little bit too good to be true for a little bit of rice and a little bit of water. I mean, if you know what I mean. It what like a little crazy. You know, what do you think, Emma? Yeah, that sounds wild. Can I get the enthusiasm? Oh my God, that sounds unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like that's just <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> So we have the uh, women to thank for this. They actually use this method to wash their hair once a week from my research, that's what they do. Their hair is actually so long, they cut their hair only once in their life when they're 18, believe it or not. That is like them turning into a woman. Uh, that's what they do, they cut their hair off and they grow back long until the day they die. So it is literally to the floor on some of these women and they dip their hair into this rice water solution. They then rinse the rice water out in the river. Pretty cool. I'm down for that. Washing your hair as much as we do in this modern time is actually not really supposed to be a thing. And shampoo is man-made, obviously, and you don't exactly need it to survive. However, many of us, most of us, have become very dependent on shampoo. But these women claim that they do not use any shampoo, and they do not need it, and that is why their hair grows so fast. Before we start making this concoction and show you how to do it, maybe you're wondering if you're like me and you're a huge skeptic about anything like this. Is there any studies going on? Do we know if this is legit? Mmm, kind of skeptical, kind of weird, sounds freaky. Why are we putting rice in our heads? I mean, would you put rice water on your head? I mean, after hearing all these reviews, yes. That's a big fat yas from you? Yes, that's a yes for me. Yas or yes? Yes. Oh, wow. So there was a paper in 2010 that was published because of a company trying to promote their new hair product. So they did this research to go with that. So, you know, you don't really know how legit the research is when it's backed by a product. The author noted that rice water may increase elasticity of the hair. So that's pretty cool. At least there's been some sort of research done about this. Cause when these kind of like weird concoctions come up, I'm like, mm, but do we know? However, the study relies heavily on historical examples to prove their point. So we're kind of like not really getting too much research here. It's definitely like, mm, you could, it could work, it could not work. It's still kind of up in the air. If it works for you and it works for the Yao women, maybe we're onto something. So how do you make it, Brad? Can we get into that already? I'm waiting for it. Literally, like what the f Brad? Like you're so annoying. Why can't we just learn how to make this stupid rice water? I'm sitting here, I'm doing calculations and research. Everybody does a f 
different thing. Oh, it does rice water. I don't know who's right. However, the Yao women, I watched a video with them doing it and I trust them the most. They're the ones who like created this technique. So I'm going to use their technique. So I'm going to put rice in a bowl with some water and then I'm going to drain out the water. That is just to cleanse the rice. I'm going to put water with the rice again and I am going to scrunch it on my fingers, clean it all up. And it's supposed to be really, really nice and clean. This is what the Yao women do. After that's done, you can drain that water out. Now, they don't really tell you how much rice and how much water to put in this bowl, but I'm gonna do one part rice to two parts water. Now this water is gonna be like, you know, lukewarm. Like that's fine. They don't really specify either on this, but we're gonna guess today. And it's gonna start to get a little milky looking, a little like a little dirty looking, and we like it like that. Now the Yao women don't just do the rice with the water, right? A lot of these treatments online, that's what people do. However, people say it stinks. People say it smells really bad. I don't want it to smell bad. And I want there to be more nutrients in here than just some rice. They also add pomelo peel. Um, and apparently the grapefruit is the closest to that that you can find in America. So I'm gonna take the peels of a grapefruit here and I'm gonna cut that up and add all the peels into my little concoction over here. After that, I'm gonna add a little bit of essential oils. You can really add any essential oil you want. I'm gonna be adding eucalyptus today because I want that minty, beautiful smell. And just a few drops will do. Once that's all in the jar, I'm gonna let that sit for one week. According to the Yao women, uh, fermenting it is what you must do. That is going to help lower the pH to make it better for your hair. Um, because if the pH is too high or too low, it could throw off your hair and do all kinds of ugly to it. So we're going to let it ferment for one week. You can let it ferment for longer than that, but that is what the Yao women do. I'm going to follow the Yao women because they are here for me today. So once we come back after a week, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to strain it. And that is the beautiful magic power water that we've been looking for. That is it. And all you got to do now is apply it to your hair. Head. Now the Yao women, like I said, they wash their hair with this. So they're not washing it beforehand or after. What I'd recommend is using a very gentle shampoo if you must, just on your roots where it gets kind of oily, not on your ends, nowhere else. And just do a little cleanse. We don't want to get our hair really, really clean before doing this. The purpose is for it to be a replacement of washing your hair, um, according to these women. And so we don't want to overwash it or else it'll really dry your hair once you use the rice water. So. Once you do that, you're gonna dip your ends in the water and then pour the rest on your scalp and get it all in there and looking beautiful. Now, they also say to leave this on for 20 minutes on your hair. You can leave it on longer, but I would recommend 20 minutes since that is what these women say they do and I'm going with that. So now you're gonna wanna rinse this off of your hair. Now you can rinse it well, just don't, you know, overdo it. You know, it's okay to have a little bit left on there. You know, get it out. Now, the Yao yeah women use this on their hair to wash it once a week. This is the only thing they use and they use it once a week. So if you're wondering how much you should do this, I would say once a week or once every two weeks. However much you use it, I'm sure you'll see some benefits. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you make it. And I hope you, um, you try it out. I hope it works for you. And if it does, let me know. Now, you might be wondering, Brad, well, I mean, I heard you talk about it. What do you personally think? Would you use this on your hair? I would use it on my hair. Yes. Do I recommend it for you? I would say yes and no. It's probably amazing for the Yao yeah women to use this on their hair. However, we do have a lot of hair care to offer in America and throughout most of the world. So if you have access to great hair care that's backed with a ton of research and science, a part of me really just wants to say, use that. I don't know if we need to be fermenting rice water um, for a week and putting on our hair in order to get benefits. I'm not sure it's any better than using something that is store-bought. There's very minimal research done on this and the benefits that come from using rice water, like vitamin E, B, antioxidant, stuff like that, can all be found in a lot of hair products on the market. But if you're balling on a budget and you really wanna try something new, this will definitely not hurt your hair. It's not gonna make your hair fall out. It's not gonna do anything bad to it, I'm sure. So I say go for it, try it out. But again, if you have the money and you have some stores around you, go and buy a hair mask. That have great ingredients are in there from a great brand. I think you're gonna get just as much benefits from that as you are the rice water. I know everybody wants this 
miracle cure to growing hair, but I'm here to be the one that's realistic about things and just give you my take on it. You don't have to agree. However, that's how I feel and I'm sticking to it. Use it or don't use it. It's up to you. I don't mind it. I don't hate it, but I think there's stuff that's out there that's a little bit easier to use. Well, if you made it this far in the video, I have a little fun fact for you. You know what's crazy and so interesting? I told you guys that the Yao women cut their hair at 18 as kind of like them coming into their womanhood is what I got from my research. Could be incorrect, but we'll go with that for now. They actually keep that hair and they use it as like an extension piece for their hairstyles for the rest of their lives. I know, it's crazy. They wrap their hair up, they connect their ponytail from when they were 18 on there and they wrap it with it. Yo. So they were basically the inventors of hair extensions is what I'm getting from that. It's pretty cool. So rice water, pretty cool, but you know, yeah. if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. You guys can text me at this number right here. Yes, it is really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do all your messages. And yes, I will be texting back a few of you if you text me right now. It'll also notify you every time I post a new video. If you guys would like to follow me everywhere else, here are all my social media handles. Go for it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I also have a new Live Your Extra Life merch. It is right here. Look how fun it is, dude. I wear this sh literally all day, every day around the house. You can shop the merch with the link right down below. If you guys like this hair color, super blue, or any of my hair colors, you can shop at xmodohair.com or head to our Instagram, xmodocolor, to check out what we have going on and brand new launches happening. You can also check out my hair care brand, xmodohair, at xmodohair.com, and also on Instagram, at xmodohair. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Court. She says, hi, Brad, I want to dye my hair a fun color. I also am worried that I can't get it out once I feel like having my blonde back. What would you do with my hair? I would go pink. I would go pink. I'm sorry. You're just giving me pink vibes and over the blonde that you already have, it will look amazing. If you're worried about it going back blonde after and it not all coming out, just do a very, very, very pale pastel pink. It'll definitely come out and you're not stuck with it forever. If you try that, I would love to see it. Send me a picture and good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.